Welcome back to another video. Today I decided to add some spring and some color to my channel with this peach look and pop of blue. If you guys like it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can check out all of my videos. And if you have any recommendations for videos you want to see or products you want me to use, leave those in the comment box down below and I'll be sure to start checking some new products out. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So we are going to jump right into it and start off by prepping my eyes with the Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to put a little bit on my fingers, dab them onto my eyes, and then blend them out with my fingers. So now jumping into the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, I am just using the white peach shade and dabbing this all over from crease to brow bone to set the eyeshadow primer and also just to give my eyelids a nice clean white base to start the eyeshadow look on. So once we have that all set, I'm first going in with the color Georgia and using this as a transition shade. This shade is a nice mixture between a peach with a little bit of a brownish undertone and also a little bit of an off-white undertone. So this is like the perfect transition for me because I'm able to use it. It's similar enough to the white peach shade that it's not going to make a really harsh transition. But then as we move into a little bit more peachy of tones, you won't just see a dramatic peach right there in the crease of my eye. So after that transition shade's built up, I'm going to first go in with the shade Just Peachy and use this to start buffing it into my crease. This shade is definitely a pinkier of the two peach shades in this palette. And that's why I started off with this one, just because when it went on, it was a little bit softer. And then I will use the shade Candid Peach afterwards to darken it up. So here's where I am going in with that Candid Peach shade, just on a denser brush and really dusting this into my crease and then also on just that outer corner of my eye. And like I said, this is just gonna really deepen up the crease of the eye and then I will use the last brush with no other product on it just to blend that all out. Now I'm just taking the shade Nectar, which is a little bit of a shiny off-white with a hint of peach in it, and I am using this over my entire lid besides that very outer corner where we put the Candid Peach shade, and then I'm just going to go back in and blend it out. This shade isn't really going to add any bam of sparkle, it's just going to be a light shade over my crease. So now I'm going in with the real star of the show, which is the Infallible Paint Eyeliner by L'Oreal, and this is in the shade Intrepid Teal. And I am just using this to create a wing liner look. So I'm first just going in and doing a simple line across my eyelid, right near the eyelashes, and now you will see me create the wing just by starting towards the brow bone and bringing it in where I want it to match up with the other liners and then filling in the other areas. And so you will just see that this is gonna add that pop of blue, and this is gonna be the real color, and that's why we went a little more gentle with the lid shades. So now I'm just going in with the Allure Lashes in Naturals number 3 and putting those on and then I'll just go over them with a coat of mascara as a way to blend my regular lashes in with the 
false lashes so that way you can't see the separation between the two and they all look like my natural lashes. And then once we are done with the lashes, we're going to move on to the face for now. And so I'm going to start off with the Milani Prime Light Primer and just place this all over. This has some strobing in it, so it does create a nice dewy look to the skin, but it also does minimize the pores as well. So this is really good for people with dry skin. Those with oily skin are probably going to prefer a different foundation or a different primer because this could make their foundation look too dewy. And then I'm just going to go in with a different primer around my nose area just to really minimize the pores there as they were quite large that day. And I just really didn't want the foundation to sink in there as that's where I tend to get some cakiness appearing and my foundation settles into my lines in that T-zone area. So now I'm going in with two different BB cream foundations. These are just mixing two different shades of the same foundation just to get it closer to my normal shade. And I am just going to be blending that all in with a damp beauty blender. So now I am first going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just putting a couple dots of this under my eyes just for some extra coverage under those dark circles. But I won't use this everywhere to highlight just because it is a little bit too full coverage. So I will then go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer which is also lighter so it works better on me to highlight with. And I will use this under my eyes as well just to brighten that area. And then I'll also use that between my eyebrows on that forehead area, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then just making that downward triangle shape on under my eyes just to create some highlight on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I will blend that all in with a beauty blender both to conceal the under eyes and to highlight the entire face and create some dimension. So then I'm going to go in with the Milani Prep and Glow Translucent Powder and I'm first going to use a dense brush and use this to pack under my under eyes where I just put the concealer to really set the concealer and make sure it doesn't crease as well as to brighten the under eyes. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of a fluffier brush and use that to set the entire face. That way there's no tackiness from the foundation and all the bronzers and blush and other powders we will put on over the top of this will blend out nicely. Before we move on to those other powders, I'm going to do my under eyelash area. So I'm going to start off with the color Summer Yum and just put this really close to my waterline. This is darker than any of the shades we used on the upper lid just because I wanted to create a little bit more color down there and just make sure that it was nice and deep and created some dimension to my under eyes. And then I'm going to just take the colors Just Peachy and Candid Peach, which are the two shades we used in the crease, and just use that to buff out the entire lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. Pot Eyeliner in the teal color, and I'm going to place this on my waterline. I'm using this one instead of the Infallible Paints one, just because that one wouldn't have stayed in my waterline, but this is a really similar color to it. And this one tended to stay in my waterline a little bit better, but it didn't... It wouldn't be one that would last all day without touch-ups, just as a heads up to people. And then I'm just going to put a little coat of mascara on my bottom eyelashes and start contouring. So I'm using the Pixi by Petra Natural Contour Powder and I'm first just placing this on the contours of my cheekbones, so right underneath the cheekbones and near the hairline and then blending that all out. But then I will also place this on the tips of my forehead and on my jawline and under my chin just to create some dimension around my entire face.
So now I'm just going in with the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer and using this to warm up the face and just taking a very light dusting in all of the same places that we just used the contour powder. So I'm going to use it on the cheekbones, on the tips of the forehead, and on the jawbone and down the neck just to get a nice natural warmth to the face. This one has more of a sheen to it and a little bit more of a glittery undertone so it just creates a nice natural warmth to the entire face. Then I'm going to use the Pixi by Pedra Blush and Highlight Kit and I'm just first using the blush out of here to warm up the cheeks and just add a little bit of rosiness to them and then using the highlighter to highlight my cheekbones, my temples, the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, and Cupid's bow. I'm going to have to give this a little bit more of a try before I have a full opinion on it and I definitely want to try one of their full-sized highlighters but I'm not sure how in love with this kit I am at this point. And then I am just going to very quickly fill in my brows with the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade number 3 from Benefit. And once I have them filled in, I'll just comb through them. I don't do very much to fill them in, just kind of add to the natural shape. And then I'm going to set that entire look with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. And then I'm just going to finish off the look with a Milani Matte Lip Cream in a nude pinky shade. I will have the exact name of it listed down below and that will complete this look. So here is the final look. I am loving it and it's getting me really excited for some more spring looks and to keep using the Sweet Peach palette, play around with it and come out with some more creative looks. But I decided today to just keep it pretty calm but then add that pop of blue with the eyeliner and I loved the way it turned out. I hope you guys did too. Remember to like and subscribe and check out all of my other videos and leave some comments for things you want me to do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.